Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be filming this video today because I have received so many questions on my previous YouTube video about nursing and nursing school, um, as well as personal DMs from others as well asking me questions. And I also did just recently post a poll or a question thingy on Instagram where you could ask me questions about nursing or nursing school that you were curious about. And I said I would answer them in this video. So this is exactly what I will be doing as well as providing you all some tips and tricks for anyone who's entering nursing school or who is looking to apply to nursing school. So yeah, let's get started with today's video. So let's get on with all of the questions that you guys had sent me and asked me. I'm going to first start off with the ones that I received on Instagram and then obviously I'll move on to the next few. So and in case anyone was wondering, this is a sweater I received for Christmas from my bestie Rochelle. Um, it is from, I believe, lovedub.com. I will link them down below in case anyone is looking to grab one of these sweaters. Um, it's not sponsored, I just really love the sweater. So I first wanted to start off by answering um, just a few questions about myself because I do get a lot of questions about what program I'm in, what school I go to. Um, so I am currently attending McMaster University. I am in their accelerated nursing program, which is basically a condensed program or for anyone who already has um, a portion of their undergrad um, completed or has already completed their undergrad and is looking to apply to nursing. Um, this is with the idea that we've already received a good chunk of education um, and that gives us kind of a leverage um, in terms of school and we don't need to repeat, let's say a full four year program again. So this is great for anyone again, who's maybe a more mature student or, or who has already finished, let's say two years of university for McMaster in order to apply um, to get in for their third and then fourth year. So um, for me, I already completed my first undergrad at Mac, as you can see right here. Um, I did a life sciences program and then decided to apply to the McMaster Accelerated Program and that is two years or 20 months. So that is just kind of a brief information about myself because um, I do get a lot of questions um, and kind of people are often confused about what type of program in, I'm in. So. I hope that clears So I'm going to first start off with the questions I received. I've taken a screenshot on my iPad um, and I'm just gonna go through them if I can open my iPad. So the first question I received on Instagram was how has COVID impacted nursing school? Okay, so obviously I've experienced four years of school before um, and this is my first year ever doing anything online um, as with many people. Um, and honestly, I, I do miss going to school mainly because you do miss that environment and you also don't get the opportunity as much to kind of get to meet new people and meet your classmates and especially in a program um, or at least a program that I'm in is relatively small. so. Being able to meet new people and get to know people is obviously one of the major things in nursing because we are a big family. And so that is something that I find a little bit difficult. Um, other than that, that is something that's kind of out of our control anyways. Um, in terms of classes, we are obviously doing everything online. Um, classes, lectures, tutorials, all of that is online along with um, our labs are actually in person for one of my courses um, and for my next coming semester is also going to be in person. We also have clinical placement which is actually at a hospital um, or any participating um, science community that is willing to accept the students to teach them. Um, so at the moment, we are kind of limited in terms of lectures and classes, but personally, I, as a learner, I don't mind having classes at home, so that's just for me, but I do know a lot of people enjoy having that in-person experience and being able to talk to their peers, talk to their um, professor and TAs and whatnot. It is different for every school and different for every country, so do pay attention to what is going on for where you live and what school you're looking to attend to or looking um, or already applying for. So I hope that answers that question. The next question I got was, um, what's your experience been like so far? 
I kind of answered that in the previous question, but I am having an amazing time. I really enjoy um, the program. I love the way that it's structured um, and I love the just just love the program. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, having done a previous undergrad before, I felt like it was pretty mundane. It was kind of, I didn't really know where I was going with it. With this, it's very structured and you know which direction you're heading into and why you're learning things. Um, so that is why I love this program so much. I also love all of my peers. They're just amazing. It's so nice to be able to be a part of a community and a program where everyone is so inclusive and so excited to learn and so excited to meet one another and kind of tackle nursing school together. So that is something that I have absolutely loved. Of course, as I mentioned, it is a little bit difficult because we can't have that in-person interaction um, and not being able to have the experience of going to a school um, like I did before. But again, these are things that are out of our control at the moment. Um, so there's nothing really we can do about it. And also in a generation that in, in this day and age, we can all communicate um, via Zoom, via video chat, through messenger, text message, whatever it may be. Um, and for now, that's what we can do. And so that's what we have been doing. So just in general, I have absolutely loved my program so far um, and I hope many of you guys will also see that too when you join a nursing program. The next question I had, um, so these are from YouTube that I wanted to answer. Um, so one was, what was your GPA when you applied to McMaster? Um, so based on my undergrad, I I believe you're looking at the last two years of your university. In my last two years of university, I had a 3.8 GPA. Um, in order to apply to the McMaster program, I do believe you need a cumulative GPA of a B minus. And then in terms of the required courses, which are listed on their website, um, which you can check out, they do have a list of six courses, I believe, that you do need to complete to have at least a C minus in. But obviously, um, the higher your grades, I guess, the better chance you have. For McMaster, we also have the Casper program um, test, sorry, Casper test, that you do need to complete, um, which does play a huge part um, in your application as well. So don't think that it's just GPA. There is another component that you'd also need to do well in as well in order to get into the program. Another question we had is, are there any students in your nursing program who don't come from a science background? Um, personally, I have not met anyone who is outside of the science program. I've met students in kinesiology. I've met students um, who did a life sciences program as well. Um, environmental science as well, but I haven't met anyone who's in, let's say, physics, for example, or um, humanities. I haven't met any students yet um, that I've applied, um, as I'm assuming because they would have to have had completed their own prerequisites for their own courses, um, and they would have been taking any of these science courses as their um, electives. So, so far I haven't seen any, but Maybe I'm wrong. I have. I just personally have not met anyone yet. So another question I received um, from a viewer was, am I in an ADN program or am I in an accelerated nursing program? So just to clarify, an ADN program is an associate degree in nursing. Um, I don't believe in Canada at the moment there is a program like this. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Um, that might be more of an American thing. I don't really know, um, but it is a program that is two to three years to complete. So it's, I think it's very similar. I think they must be somewhat kind of the same thing. Um, so from my perspective, I, I'm personally not fully educated on what an ADN program is, but just by reading about it, it is kind of similar to an accelerated nursing program. Um, just, I believe the requisites to apply to either school might be different, um, but yeah. So now to answer the questions that I received the most, um, it's in regards to um, my first semester GPA. Um, and uh, I don't mind sharing these things with people because um, I wanna kind of, I don't know, kind of show people um, what you can and, and you can achieve, I guess, to put it that way. Um, so, so far I haven't received all of my grades, I'm just missing one at the moment, um, but so far I currently have a 3.9 GPA from my first semester. So yeah, that's 
pretty great. I am super happy about that. And that's kind of all I'm going to mention about it. I am going to now kind of share my tips and tricks um, for nursing school, things that I did that helped me succeed um, in the program and the program so far. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they will help anybody out who's looking to apply or is currently in nursing school that um, may need a little bit of assistance um, or some, just some tips and tricks really about nursing school. So let's get started. So the first tip I have for anyone who's about to enter into a nursing school who just got accepted, um, who's currently in nursing school and is finding it a little bit more difficult, my number one thing that I can absolutely recommend is staying organized and knowing exactly what you need to do every single day. It seems kind of obvious, but prior to entering this uh, program, I would usually just make a quick little agenda about what I needed to do in, in a week. Um, and I quickly found out because of this the rate of this program, it is an accelerated nursing program. So we're looking at four years of school condensed into two years. So it is relatively fast paced. Um, you're looking at a lot of readings, um, a lot of work and a lot of lectures to go over, um, especially because we are currently homebound for um, school because of COVID. So there's no one to tell you, there's no profs to tell you, no friends to tell you um, that, hey, this quiz is on Thursday, we have to have these lectures done by Friday, um, and you know, the assignment is due next week. So the number one thing I can tell you guys is you do need to make a schedule of all the things that you need to complete within a week, even within the day, and make a list of all of these things and stay organized because I was all over the place within the first month of um, nursing school because I had never seen that many readings in my life um, and the list of things that I had to do. So um, what I did for the kind of Heading into October, November, and December, I started using a journal to kind of log everything that I needed to do, um, all of the readings I had to do, all the tests I had to do, when they were due, how much they were worth, and kind of documenting everything down. What I also would recommend is also writing down all of your test dates, your quiz dates, and your assignment dates, just so you have them all together. This is what I've done this semester to kind of illustrate what I have to do. Um, and so every single time I complete them, I can leave myself a check mark. I can also write my grade if I'd like. I did do a separate sheet for my placements so I know what day my placements are on, um, what day my labs are on. And then just a little chart on the right side here to write down um, the type of evaluation and the grade that I received in order to kind of give myself a kind of general idea of how well I'm doing in each course and whether or not I need to step up my studying game or need to kind of rethink what I'm doing in the course so far and make adjustments um, moving The forward. next thing I would highly recommend is talking to your peers. It has helped me tremendously being able to communicate with people um, in the same program as you that are willing to support you in your own journey as well as work on, on their own and vice versa. I found it very, very helpful. Um, not only can it make the list of things that you have to do shorter, um, you can rely on each other to study, you can rely on each other to understand concepts, you can rely on each other to understand how you are feeling in the program. So what we would do as a group for one of my courses is kind of have a master doc where we would all kind of split up the readings because we would get six readings um, in a week that were massively long and being able to assign each person one reading to do to add into a group doc that is all shared was a life saver because you can literally be sitting at your computer from morning to night just doing readings and doing work so being strategic in how you complete readings and um, complete work is is really crucial the third tip that i have for everyone is to communicate with your professors your tas um and just kind of anyone who um you are learning under i used to not be able to do that because just out of fear for some reason um but having done that in this semester or at this program, I would often communicate with my professors, um, with my TAs, um, whether it's topics that I didn't understand or just 
asking my professors, how can I improve um, in order to do better? There's no harm in doing that. Um, if anything, it's just beneficial to you. It also shows your professors and your tutors and your um, TAs that you are well interested in your studies and you're also um, a keen individual who's looking to learn and, and that's really important when it comes to nursing or I, I, that's the one thing that I've picked up from anyone is being able to be eager and to be, be able to show that you're willing to learn um, in the program. The last tip I have for everyone is to review. I'm sure you've all heard of this before, but um, doing that is a completely different story within this program. Although I was doing a lot of readings and a lot of work, um, I still would be able to find time in order to review notes that I had previously. So when the time comes for a midterm or for your exams, you are more well prepared and you're not learning information from scratch. There's a complete difference between taking notes um, and taking notes and then understanding your notes. You can passively take notes for hours and not retain any of the information. So being able to take the time to sit down and read all of the information is so crucial in any program, not just nursing, um, but for the volume of information that you are receiving, that you are taking in and taking notes for, Reviewing your content is the number one best thing that you can do. So yeah, so I hope that was an informative Q&A and I hope I answered all of your questions and I hope you guys can use those tips and tricks for anyone who's entering nursing school or is looking to apply to nursing school or who is already in nursing school and just needed some tips and tricks. I I am super excited to make more videos in the future about nursing. So anyone who has any suggestions for videos, please ask them down below. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a nursing kind of Instagram page. So if you think that you would enjoy that, please leave it in the, uh, give this video a thumbs up and um, I will most likely probably still make one. I'm looking to do it a little bit further into the program um, and towards actually becoming a registered nurse before I actually make one. But I think sharing my journey on the way there would also be nice. Um, so yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you'd like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.